Dear people of God, I welcome you all to this Eucharistic celebration as we commemorate the assumption of Mother Mary into heaven. I call upon all of us to reflect on the theme, Mother Mary, the perfect example for all people. We congratulate and wish a happy feast today to all those who are called Asumpta. We also wish a happy feast today to all the Catholics. For Mother Mary is our mother and we are her children. So in celebrating the feast of Mary's assumption into heaven, we are celebrating the fact that she is now sharing fully in the Easter victory that Christ her son gained over death. Surely, as a mother of the Savior, it's right that she should have a very special place in the eternal banquet. So we should all be happy on this day of assumption because she is our mother too. Mary attained the glory of heaven because she was a humble person who sought to do the will of God at all times, not her own will. By an invisible force in her life, outside her, she began doing some extraordinary things. So Mary had a greater consciousness of her dependence on the mysterious outside power. With this, Mary was also conscious that she had a special role to play in this world because she was going to bring the Savior into this world and she brought that Savior in this world. Mary's life was exciting for her and the Son, yet at times it could be frightening because of what she was going through. Mary felt bad at times. For instance, when she went back to the synagogue in Jerusalem and found Jesus preaching to the elders and the response which Jesus gave her, it really put her down. But she kept going on. She never stopped looking after Jesus. Mother Mary knew moments of great anxiety and depression as she and her, her compassions left for the day at times. Many times she was anxious of what was coming next, but then she continued to work normally. It was clear to Mother Mary that through Jesus, a new thing was coming into play. So she bared everything in her life. We too, dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we need to bear what is coming in our lives. We need to be conscious about what is going on in our lives and then put our trust in the Lord and continue. It was always clear to Mother Mary that through Jesus that something new was coming and it was going to change her life. Mother Mary always heard the voice of the Lord in her heart telling her trust and hope and follow in my steps. At a certain moment, Mother Mary drew strength and comfort from knowing that Jesus had also encountered many dangers and hardships. Through all this, what the Lord went through, Mother Mary gathered courage and she also carried on. She was many times having incredible feelings which were mixed up as we ourselves at times we are. She was slowly lifted up at the end into the heaven and welcomed by Jesus. We too, dear people of God, when we persevere in this life, when we keep the faith in life and always get to know what the Lord is telling us to do, what he is desiring from us, the Lord will lift us from this world. During the life of Mary on earth, she knew happy times when the life went along joyful and peaceful moments. 
we also enjoy the peaceful moments, the joyous moments, and in the heaven, we shall enjoy those moments if we are conscious about everything which is going on in our lives. This is the day the humble Mary was assumed into heaven to share fully the glorious victory of her son, won over sin and death. We shall also overcome sin and death if we put our trust in the Lord and if we follow what the Lord is giving us and he is telling us. Sin had attained to the fullness that redemption which we hope will one day attain. We shall also be redeemed, dear brothers and sisters. It was the same power that raised Jesus from death that brought glory to Mary. It is the same power we shall, which shall glorify us as we go into heaven. Each one of us is training towards that glorious state which Mary arrived into. Dear friends, today, in the day, we need to renew our hope in Christ, our hope in the Lord. It is also the day to renew our confidence that Mary will watch over us and every time in our journey on earth. May we never be afraid of loving the Blessed Virgin Mary too much, for she can never love us in vain, but she will always embrace us. She will always be with us. Mother Mary will understand when we are going through rough patches. She went through the rough patches and she won and she was taken into heaven. We are going through the rough patches. We shall also win. She will help us persevere in following her son who will whisper to us in our hearts, trust, hope, and follow me. For where I am, you will surely be. May Mother Mary intercede for us. May we profess our faith. 